नसुन होती For multitudes of cancer patients across the world, one organization has been bringing hope since 1955, the Cancer Institute (WIA) at Chennai. Let's meet Dr. Shanta, the chairperson of Cancer Institute, and find out how it all began. Hello, Dr. Hello. Hello. You've been associated with this institute right from its inception. Could you tell us how it all started? Well, I think it's nice to talk to young people, tell you of. all the problems that we face the cancer institute was founded in 1954 june 18th under the inspiring leadership of the late dr mitsukshmi reddy the actually the founders were the women's indian association cancer relief fund it is the unswerving and tireless efforts of dr mitsukshmi reddy that made this possible now it is certainly been a very long journey long and hard and arduous from a cottage hospital of 12 beds housed in tracks of huts two honorary medical officers one nurse and technician to a major comprehensive cancer center of national and international repute with a hospital of 428 beds devoted purely to the treatment of cancer a research center the college of oncologic sciences and the division of preventive oncology now the institute has come to this level surely and mainly because of the dedication and involvement of the people here let's go in and find out more about the organization hello vasu hello doctor how are you i'm fine Over there, I have a few friends who want to know more about the institute. This is our OP registration area, where all patients register when they come into the institute. And as you can see, cancer does not distinguish rich from poor. You know, it does not distinguish whom to strike and whom not to strike. Now, since cancer does not recognize holidays from working days, we work all through the year, all 365 days. I will introduce you to Dr. Ayappan, who will take you around the OPD. These are the cubicles where the patients are generally examined. The patients can be either on uh, follow-up basis, or they will be either uh, on routine uh, examination, or they can be also on screening patients. So once uh, examination is over, the patients will be taken to various parts of the hospitals, and they will be investigated with sophisticated instruments available here. Today we have many of the state-of-art equipment. The objective of our founders was to provide the state-of-art treatment to the poorest of the poor. But there is so much more to be done. The state of art treatment has to reach everybody. 60% of our patients are either totally free or highly subsidized. Only 40% pay us. What about psychological counseling, doctor? Who can patients talk to in this traumatic phase? Actually, uh, where you see Mrs. Ranga Kumar, she runs a psychological counseling center called a Sanctuary. Sanctuary is basically an emotional support group where we do counseling for the patients and the families. Sanctuary also does a lot of workshop with the children because the treatment is very protracted and these children are away from their mainstream of life from school. Let's have a look at what the institute has set up as a part of its cancer preventive efforts. Prevention is one of the greatest challenges in our field. We have to be able to go to the public, see them, and educate them. So one form of uh, this that we are doing is the tobacco cessation clinic. This is for the addiction. One life we save is one big victory for us. Do you know what the hospital plans to do in the near future? The most important, if I want to prioritize. Uh, for what you need we need lot more of equipments for which we need funding other areas that we would like to expand will be community programs creating awareness creating i mean providing education to the people who are not aware of cancer of course we need more research because today's research is the treatment of tomorrow we have a voluntary public institution like covers is finding it extremely difficult to cope with the demand and continue the motto of the founders that we have to provide free treatment to a large percentage of patients i think towards this we need a lot and lot and lot of support treatment is not the last step in the fight against cancer 
follow-up visits ensure early detection of recurrence, which helps in successful completion of the treatment. How do I know all this? I was a cancer patient here myself. Ah.